we have to learn. We don't have to, you know, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to go on living. But it's a great idea, it's a great thing. If you can learn what the Chinese call purposelessness. They think nature is purposeless. When we say something's purposeless, that's put down. There's no future in it. It's a washout. But when they hear the word purposeless, they think that's just great. When Chinese say nature is purposeless, this is a compliment. It's like watching wild geese fly and be hidden in the clouds. As watching a ship vanish behind a distant island. As wandering on and on in a great forest with no thought of return. Haven't you done this? Haven't you gone on a walk with no particular purpose in mind? Carry a stick with you and you occasionally hit at old stumps and wander along and sometimes twiddle your thumbs. It's at that moment that you learn purposelessness. All music is purposeless. Is music getting somewhere? If it were, I mean, if the aim of music were, of a symphony, were to get to the final bar, the best conductor would be the one who got there fastest. See, dancing, when you dance, do you aim to arrive at a particular place on the floor? Is that the idea of dancing? Huh? Well, it's exactly the same with our life. We think life has a purpose. Now, it's like the waves washing against the shore, going on and on and on forever with no meaning. Like the birds in the trees go, twee, 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 what's it all about? Everybody tries to say, ah, oh, it's, it's, it's a mating call. It's purpose of trying to get their mate, you know, attract them with a song. That's why they have colors, butterflies have eyes on them, self-protection, engineering view of the universe. Why do that? They say, well, it's because they need to survive. Oh, why survive? What's that for? Well, to survive. And they say, well, that's terribly serious. That's awfully important. We've got to keep on doing this. <laughs> you pick up a pebble on the beach. Look at it. Beautiful. Don't try and get a sermon out of it. Just enjoy it. Enjoy the pebble. If you do that, you become healthy. You become able to be a loving, helpful human being. Here's the choice. Are you going to trust it or not? If you do trust it, you may get let down. And this it is yourself, your own nature, and all nature around you. There are going to be mistakes. But if you don't trust it at all, you're going to strangle yourself. To live, I must have faith. I must trust myself to the totally unknown. I must trust myself to a nature which doesn't have a boss. <laughs>